Hey everyone, welcome to today's News Minute right here on Ocala.com. Today is Friday, January 22nd. I'm Kamal Hostin. Let's get right into it. First up, Ocala's unemployment rate hit 14% in December. Now this is from the Florida Agency for Workforce Innovation. You can get more details on that right here on Ocala.com. Moving on, a fight between officers and citizens early Friday morning in a parking lot resulted in the arrest of three people. Now, officers went to Dr. B's around 12.45 in the morning in response to a disturbance in the parking lot. Ryan Baroni was arrested and charged with resisting arrest, while Jessica Baroni and Thomas Harrison were charged with battery on a law enforcement officer. Nationally, a two-hour telethon to benefit the victims of the recent earthquake in Haiti will be shown at tonight, uh, tonight beginning at 8 p.m. on all the major networks, as well as a host of other channels. In other news, uh, doctors say a 69-year-old Haitian woman was pulled from the rubble alive 10 days after the quake. So, Ocala.com has more information on um, uh, the Haitian earthquake as well as uh, several relief efforts, so check that out. And finally, a young mother who told police her two-week-old son was kidnapped by his father was arrested and charged with making a false report. Janelise Jacino told officers that the 17-year-old father of her son held a knife to her throat and forced her to give him the baby. Now, for more details on any of these stories, visit Ocala.com as well as m.ocala.com when you're on the go. Stop by the Facebook page. You can friend us, uh, follow us on Twitter, and we've got all the videos on Ocala.com also on our YouTube page. That'll do it for today's News Minute. I'm Kamal Hostin. I'll be back here next week.